So I'm working on my uh, cop siren right now. Uh, yesterday I took it out of my Dodge and um, I'm currently putting it in my Nissan. So here's my little rig right here. I got an Arnold Palmer on my uh, radio and the housing of the siren. And it was a little off. There was this, there was a like uh, somewhere where you could put your phone and iPod and shit. But I took that out, and uh, that housing is only like a centimeter off. So what I'll probably end up doing is taking a hot razor blade and cutting it a little bit and uh, making that fit. Um, this is pretty grimy. The guy smoked, so I'm gonna clean that too. But I'll take you outside and check it and have you check out my work. It was like 61 degrees yesterday. It's probably about 45 degrees today. So I thought today is a perfect day to work on it. My radio doesn't work, so that's why I got one on. And I think I found the problem that the uh, radio, why it wasn't working. The fuse was good. So uh, I went in here and I looked at the ground wire. It looks like a freaking mess in here right now. Parts everywhere, tools everywhere. And the ground wire was down to like one wire. And it didn't have a good ground because all it was hanging on to was the nut. I put an extra washer there to give more surface area to the ground. So I gave it a better ground and shit, maybe the radio might even work now. That'd be cool. Um, so here's the, the old box I was talking about. That's where you put your iPod and stuff. So the housing was only like a centimeter off. So that's why I think my razor blade might work pretty good. Um, there's this iron down there. I just tested it. Uh, the cool thing is I wired it into the radio so the truck has to be on. Compared to the Dodge that you could turn it on anytime. That, that wasn't, I didn't like that too much because then my friends would mess with it when I had the keys so that kind of made me mad. I don't think it's, I, I, I just don't want any attention from any cops. That's the only thing. I don't mind on deserted roads or anything or when you're pissed off and, and behind somebody. I was going up uh, one of our, one of the main roads and I was going to a, at a birthday party and I wanted to get on get there on time and this guy's going like 45 and a 55. So I turned the damn thing on and I freaking, he pulled over and I blasted right past him. And here's the siren. There's not that much room here. On the Dodge it was over there. So I put it over here. I put a screw into this air filter housing and uh, the screw is right there. So that goes into that. And then I uh, drilled a hole through here in my drill, uh, tapped it, and then put a 716 screw through it. So it ain't moving. Wired it up. It's all wired up. I wanted to take my time and do it the right way this time. The Dodge, I just freaking wanted to get it done in five minutes. So now I'm getting it done right. So goes through there, it doesn't go through my damn door like the Dodge. And then it feeds up and through here, goes behind here, and then sits right here. It should sit right there. Um, there's the siren outside of the housing. Let's see. I'll do a quick chirp. So it works. Um, now I just gotta wait for my JB Weld to, to dry. I'm hooking that housing up to the, the housing of the radio itself. So I have everything done that I have to right now. And I'll let that dry and start working. So it's been about three hours, maybe two and a half, letting that JB Weld dry. But I got it set up for the most part, and I didn't have to cut that at all, which is pretty sweet. And it looks pretty good. Um, I still have uh, some screws to put a, put back. I got two in there. But it's awesome. When, you know you did it right when you got screws left over. Now the four screws came from the box right here. Two on this side and two on that side. So then those two black ones go right down in here. 
And then the cigarette thing that I don't have to use because I don't smoke. Very bad for you. Put that in there. And uh, yeah. Radio still don't work, but I tried. And it might just be blown. Um, but who needs a radio when you got a siren? So the wiring and everything, and it's all cleaned up, is complete. Got a little dirt and glue. But it looks pretty good. Didn't go the easy way out this time. I think that's just going to sit there, maybe in there. There we go. That'll work pretty slick. So there's the new cop truck. Sweet.